Hello gentle ladies and men. Let's make an arrow coming out of a sheet of paper. Um, first of all, let's go to our layer and object. If you don't find yours, go to layer, layers and objects. On here, let's call this layer sketch. And then let's use our freehand tool and let's draw the basic outline of what we want to do let's draw the concept so i'm thinking a sheet of paper like this and maybe an arrow coming out of it like this and then maybe some shadow around here and some shadow around here let's see what this concept would look like let's try and make it bent a bit let's make this bent a bit and there'll be a bit of shadow here and a bit of shadow here. Right. I just drew this with um, a graphics tablet. You could draw yours on a piece of paper and import the image. If you do not have um, a tablet drawn, let's select all of those control A and let's unite all of them union. So they will go to one path let's lock this up and with this selected let's go to fills and stroke and let's turn down the opacity coming back here let's create a new layer and um, let's call that drawing let's start designing what we need now let's create a rectangle here this is going to be housing our design. Let's turn that fill and stroll. Let's turn the opacity for this one back up. And let's um let's leave the stroke on on there, and then let's create a clip group from that, and let's enter the clip group. In here, let's draw our arrow using our bizarre curves tool here let's trace and make that arrow quite nicely nice let's give that a feel let's say red nice all right let's remove this the stroke paint from that and then let's duplicate this Control D on your keyboard let's give it a black color and let's turn down the opacity let's go to object and let's send it to bottom to make it come under and then let's place it properly and turn on blur nice I use this as a clip group to make everything stay inside so now let's let's remove the stroke on that let's go to the layers and then let's remove this sketch and then let's return to our clip group let me just call this arrow clip group so we can easily identify it let's create another rectangle inside the clip group and let's go to object and send that to the bottom lower to bottom let's go to fills and stroke ctrl shift f let's increase the blur turn down the opacity a bit nice now let's make some adjustments to this let's make that color a bit brighter as this one is let's Make it a clip group and then let's enter that clip group okay let's draw let's make another rectangle this group is inside the arrow let's make this yellowish let's turn the opacity on this clip group is the arrow there was another a, a clip group earlier 
that was the rectangle let's go to to our layers to look at that see there is arrows clip group and then there is the arrow clip group two clip groups in one one clip group inside another with this we want to add some texture some kind of effect to this our arrow let it not just be flat so with this let's adjust the fill on this more let's make that let's pick the color d on your keyboard to pick this color and then let's turn that make it black darker and then let's increase the blur turn down opacity a little looking good on this let's control click on that and then let's make this a bit more reddish looking good so going back to your layers selecting the entire clip group this is what we have done that is more like an arrow coming out of a piece of paper the shadow giving it a bit of an effect and more shadow beneath the arrow this is a beginner's level tutorial thank you for watching and see you on the next video